Uh, well, I, I tell you what, I would go to the superfood uh, blend, uh, somebody's, but without all the digestive enzymes and the crap and the probiotics, I'd get a superfood blend. Our number two is, I love our number two superfood blend with all the, the uh, greens juiced and powdered. I, I tell you, a superfood blend for children, yeah, you're talking major nutrition, but I don't forget that. I mean, you want a power pack of nature in its wholeness, and there's no, nothing more complete than, a, than a, a, a blend like that. And it's got some herbs for different things that I put in there to help with the kidneys and help different things while you're getting, uh, you know, power packing nutrition. So bodybuilders use it, musicians use it on stage. I mean, we, we have a, just a load of people. So I would highly recommend a good superfood blend, not messed by man, you know. Maybe ground by man and uh, get your daughter on that. Put it in a little grape juice and uh, she'll like it. Osteochondritis. Osteochondritis, desiccans, bone chip. My name, Sam. Hey, Sam. 24 years, 24 years old, man. I had an accident on a skateboard. Ooh, but that hurt. And landed on my arm. I just started a new job in a factory. I deal with a lot of repetitive movements. I can't strengthen my arm fully. And it clicks a lot. Well, again, Sam, work on your parathyroid gland. Get that Calma Plus. Stay raw. Pump the greens. A lot of greens do. Uh, I would also go out and get some kelp. No iodine added. Just pure Norwegian kelp or cold water kelp. And start uh, maybe two capsules. Uh, uh, twice or three times a day, have it with my meals, and just really start pumping the green juices. A lot of alfalfa there. Move those lymphs, though. At 24, I can, uh, I can tell you already, your kidneys and adrenals, get your adrenals up. That'll give you more steroids for healing power. At the same time, it'll help the filtration of the lymph and clean that area where you damaged it and get yourself back. Uh, back and it's swollen and I want, yeah, see, your lymph isn't moving that well. And this is what you're going to see. The younger you are, you're going to see when you have these injuries, they're going to hang around on you. They're not going to heal well. And that's a tribute to the, the lymph and the kidney issue that I've been talking about here. So you want to move on your lymph system and, and, uh, and go after that. But pop up your parathyroid just in case at your age it's real possible. You have a little weakness there. That way you're going to utilize calcium. You're going to rebuild structure good. But remember, you've got to be able to clean the acid damage out of there plus the acids from the cells in normal life and uh, get, get this acidosis out of these tissues. It'll reduce the swelling and clean the area. The bud will bring the goodies in. The healing will take place and you're good to go. See how simple that is? Doc, I know you're okay with bentonite, clay, and chocolate. Yeah, I'm okay with diatomaceous earth. Yeah, I don't care. I, I saw a good formula that someone brought in a good formula. I can't remember the name of it, but this was a good formula. It had the uh, the, the earth and it had the uh, bentonite and charcoal in it. That way I t twist my tongue here. But I'm glad you gave me an insight to what th that was because... I don't focus on stuff like that too much. More something's inorganic like that. I don't really focus a lot on it. Uh, I, I, I'm so busy and focused that if I keep adding things to someone's uh, program, uh, it becomes very costly. So I, 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 I'm looking here, and when I look at someone's protocol, I don't have, how can I pack this? I don't have that thinking. No, let me tell you, you, you will never see that out of me. I want to leave the planet, and I want to be able to uh, soar, not uh, you know, not pay prices. So, uh, I, uh, I I'm looking at where's the best bang for your buck. That that's where my thought is. If people want to add and they have the financial wherefore, absolutely, I don't care. I think it's better when you go aggressively after something. No question. Uh, remember, uh, I told you Shania Twain was popping 30, I mean 23 of these formulas at once. I, I told her, I said, my God, I do 12 and get heart palpitations. Mud at the time was popping about 17. It's like, dang, I, I, can't, I can't pop that many. I, I just can't pop that many. Uh, it's just strong on me. Uh, but boy, little, little Eileen, man, that's a go-getter. She's a good soul. Uh, let's see what is her aquatic life. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I can't see anything wrong with it. I, I think living nutrition is the key, you know, uh, much more bioavailable if we want to use that word. 
uh, much, much more usable, in other words, by the human body. And so I like that better, but sure, I saw a good bow formula with that in there with the charcoals and stuff, and I thought that that company did a good job. Lemonade. A relative of mine gets severe bladder infections. Well, you know what to do, honey. You see you getting that sediment, you know what to do. You go after them, you move those kidneys, you move that lymph, uh, you get those adrenals up. I give them parasitium just to kind of, you know, take the... Uh, Cap, the, cap that, that's an antibiotic, and a fungal antiviral uh, on a regular basis. Sometimes it's so painful she ends up in the emergency room. Yeah, definitely. She needs to go after this, or she's going to get uh, uh, polycystic uh, syndromes here, uh, new latest on the market. But you're going to see a, a, a lot of tumors or cysts growing on the bladder or kidneys here. Uh, just a ton of this out there. Uh, I don't know which video it was either. Do you think her douching with Hill All Tea will help? Yes, I do. I definitely do. It'll clean the vaginal area. It'll it'll definitely absorb in there and get to the bladder quicker. I definitely good take lemonade. Good take definitely would do that. Definitely. Uh, I looked up the website. It's a sulfate. Yeah, clarity is a sulfate. Ugh. You know, you don't. I don't recommend. You know that already. Anything sulfur based. When you guys get a load of all this sulfur in people, and you start working with them, and you see the difference of how hard they have to work over someone that doesn't have it, you start to realize how bad sulfur is. And now you're seeing. I was saying these commercials where they're saying the harsh sulfates are eliminated out of these cosmetics now. Well, why were they in there in the first place? <laughs> uh, Eagle Heart song. Important warning about clarity came out from Mike Adams for those who want to know more. Go to his site. Oh, that's interesting. You know what? Uh, we were told clarity was black mecca, uh, completely natural product, blah, 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 blah. You know, you guys are all good. And I, I think that I, I'm, I'm guilty of this too. I've been a sounding board before for these, these different companies by trying their products and you guys are for me too in, in one way of looking at this. Uh, that's why you see me really natural. I, I've had a lot of years behind me. I've had 40 years behind me in, in this field. And so Dr. Jensen had 75. Amazing. I mean I just I really uh, respect that guy. But uh, I've had 40 and it's like it's going over that now. But it's like wow. I've been through a lot of these different things, and I've just come down to where's the best bang for the buck? Where are you the most? What do we have to do? Is it fresh? Is it alive? Is it ripe like all the other animals? It's true, though. Elephants do suck on uh, on some uh, inert matter, for sure. I mean, there is some of that. We have salt licks. You know, there is some of that going on, for sure. But those are the vegetarians, not the fruititarians. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I, I, I tell you, I, I'm going to look this up, Mike Adams, I'm going to put this to the side and look that up and see what's going on there, but I just don't get into things that are more inorganic because they become less bioavailable, in other words, yes, less usable, but, but, but our bodies, I've said this before, are not designed to take in uh, basically inorganic matter, which is more elementals. If you're going to say organic, even though this is not quite how uh, biochemists look at organic to me are complete structures. Inorganic is when you break down a structure and isolate it more as a chemical uh, element or compound. And I just don't, uh, I don't go that way. The more of a compound, I guess I could say, the, the more organic. And salts, you know, the key is salts. Uh, plants uh, convert these elements to salts. Our bodies are into the salts. Lazimer, let's see, I would like to ask one question about herbs. Are there so many of them we have a slime or something like that, for example, plantain? They are used to dilate mucus uh, from uh, mucous membranes of airways to make it easier to cough it out. Uh, plantain, maybe not so much. Mullein, fenugreek, um, pleurisy root, yeah, they break up hardened mucus, particularly fenugreek, uh, mullein, anti-inflammatory, kind of the same way. Uh, Plantain is one of the great lymphatic herbs that you use for snake bites, poisons, pulling, drawing toxins out. Absolutely. It'll help draw mucus out of the uh, mucous membranes. Absolutely. 
uh, it is very good to enlarge the volume of mucus this way. Yeah, well, you're not enlarging, you're pulling and expectorating. Uh, that's the key. You have to eliminate. Now, there could be some expansion as hydration takes place. Yeah, you might have a point there. But expectoration is the key because you can't hold it in because that's been man's problem. That's why all the cancers exist, the tumors exist, the lung problems, the bronchial problems, the throat cancers, the palate, mouth. I mean, it's just going on and on and on. You can't keep this mucus in the body, even though it's part of the man, a natural immune system. It becomes acidic as the acids it's, it's using to fight. So it's, it's got to be expectorated. Does it affect uh, mucous membranes over other tissues, for example? Well, basically, uh, you can tell when the healthier you get if you do a little... Uh, uh, a wrong protein or dairy type proteins, you can feel the mucus in your sinuses and your lungs simultaneously. You can feel your mucosa responding all in the upper chest area and it's possible you have a systemic response where maybe this is why we see so much lymph extra lymphatic congestion from those that drink milk. We see it systemically so perhaps you see a systemic mucosic response from milk proteins. And uh, that, that's even more scary. Ten. It's ten till. It's ten till. She wears a whip. I'm telling you. All right. Um, let me see here. So, yeah, you've got to get that mucus out of there and clean that out. So, absolutely. But plantain, I love that one, man. If you get snake bit, <laughs> get a plantain quick. Forget the ER. Uh, let's see, uh, yes, I know that mercury fillings aren't good, but I am wondering how far should I pursue this? I mean, do you think one should remove all metal fillings? Yes, I do, except gold uh, that have a base metal and also remove all root canals. I'm not to that way. You know, in Europe they were using calcium to fill root canals and much smarter than uh, dentistry in America. They were using this, this my dentist would tell me this cell killing stuff that kills cells and then they realized the tooth is cells and started destroying cells. So, uh, if you, I don't know if you have good root canal. I mean, you can pull your teeth out and I, I just don't go for that. I mean, get your mercury out definitely, big issue. Uh, clean your lymph systems, but don't have everything removed out of your mouth. This is toxic-free dentistry would remove everything out of your mouth. No way. With this toxicity from metal prevent one from becoming healthy? Could, uh, or can they still get well as long as they... Well, I mean, it, it, you're going to leak, 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 and it sets up a magnetic energy in the mouth that's destructive. I, I've told you before, I felt the last time my... Uh, uh, mercury filling was released out of my mouth and so uh, and a lot of people said the same thing just had a guy in here telling me the same thing he, he felt a big difference after the last uh, mercury filling was removed so that was pretty good uh, I know I wish he could be so disturbed it kind of worries me he also freaked out on the yeah you know I did freak out on that FDS yeah. and, and I, I have had and I, I'm getting better you guys are helping me get better I've had a lot of years fighting fighting hard uh, uh, looking out for black, I, I know a lot of good people that ended up being picked up by the government and no one knows where they are. 